Trading, the Market Academy, the home of sports trading. Hi, I'm Mark and this video is from the Trading Market Academy, the home of sports trading. In this video, we're going to look at horse race trading. Are you interested in horse racing and looking for tips and the right strategies to start making money? Or are you a newbie and want to learn more about horse racing trading methods? We can help you with both. So sit back, relax, and you'll learn exactly what horse racing trading is, what it looks like pre-race and in play, as well as top money making strategies we have prepared. And if that wasn't enough, we'll share some important tips to follow while trading. So without further ado, let's get into it. For beginners, trading is the process in which a punter backs a horse at high odds before laying the same horse at low odds, or vice versa in order to make a sure profit. So what is the difference between betting and trading in horse racing? Well, the main difference is that you're not just betting money on the winner of a race. In trading, you can also make money if your horse finishes second or third, and very often will go on for that. Trading is all about profiting from the movement of a market. When the odds change, new opportunities open up. Therefore, effective horse race trading entails understanding when to react. Look at the horses. Before the start of the race, the horses parade in front of the public, sometimes doing a lap. Take a good look at the horses, watch their body language. Look for energetic horses with shiny coats that don't expend too much energy before the race. Horses that sweat profusely or exhibit any kind of nervous behaviour may not be able to produce the optimal effort needed during the race. Compare the results. It's crucial to review previous race cards. The Q speed figure which indicates how fast they ran in previous events is highlighted in the official programme. Comparing the number of horses competing in a race is a valuable tool when selecting a winner. Pay attention to whether the horses had had good starts in previous races, which significantly impacts the final result. Be sure to do this before you make your choice. Look for the leaders. Every track has its favourites to win with the race, so keep an eye on them as the leaders are more likely to finish in the top positions. Not always of course, but it's important to keep this in mind. Pre-race horse racing markets are particularly desirable to traders due to the intensity of betting that happens right before the start. You can also trade in play, although the potential is very difficult than in pre-race trading. Also, 90% of the money on the races is matched right before the race starts. The final betting display takes place before the start of the race, usually the last 10 minutes. Given that this is the busiest time, it makes sense to concentrate your efforts on making a profit. The advantage is the markets are less efficient at earlier times. Finding a profitable transaction isn't difficult, scaling it up and controlling risk is. The critical aspect to pre-race trading is that you want to find the scenarios where the market is inaccurate, erratic or out of line where it should be. The advantages are no delay on bet submissions, lack of outside influences, less volatile allowing for larger bets. The disadvantages usually requires trading software, requires a decent bankroll to make profit and easy to make mistakes. Once a race starts, prices might fluctuate wildly. For example, some horses constantly run in front and others tend to drop rapidly. If a horse has a good lead, its odds may fall somewhat, yet reverse may occur if it does not get a good strong start. Over longer races, this is less significant because they have the opportunity to make up for a good or poor start. Then at the end of the race, you'll see the jockey has put the horse into a better position to cross the finish line to win the race. The odds in live racing can change dramatically. The biggest underdog can become the favourite right from the start. Such fluctuations can create trading opportunities and the possibility of making much more money than pre-race, but also corresponding with more risk. The advantages are better opportunities, higher earning potentials, fast races can handle multiple events per day. Disadvantages, higher risk, usually requires trading software and requires fast reactions. Horse racing markets provide some of the most profitable Betfair trading techniques. With so many of the races to choose from day after day, week after week, a little advantage return is all it takes to become a successful trader. Luckily, unsatisfactory results can be avoided with careful planning and well thought out approach. Sports trading on Betfair is much like trading in any other market. You just need to be prepared and follow a sound strategy, understand which races provide the best and most consistent results for you. You know which tactics and strategies apply in those races and which staking plans work brilliantly for you. To help you become a better trader, we'll be giving you some strategies for making a profit. There's something for everyone and we'll cover a few strategies for beginners and also those who have already some knowledge of horse race trading. First we'll discuss strategies for beginners. You'll find some techniques that require little financial investment and will carry minimum risk. Regardless of your experience, there is actually great for everyone. You shouldn't have any problems with them, especially since we've explained them in detail. Let's look at lay the favourite. First one up is the easiest horse racing trading strategy with very little risk. The situation is follows. It's best to look for events in which there is a clear favourite to win the race, maximum odds are 1.3, and also events in which there is a sizable number of horses. 
Theoretically, the greater the number of participants, the higher the chances of success. As mentioned earlier, most bets are placed in the 10 minutes leading up to the race. This is where markets are most popular and we have the best chance to get our lay bet with fully matched at the chosen odds. Let's say we've managed to place a lay bet at odds of 1.26 for £100. If the favourite doesn't win, the race will gain £100. However, if he wins, we lose our liability. In this case, it's £26. After a simple calculation, we can conclude that even if we lose three races with a lay bet on the favourite at similar odds, but win the fourth race, we'll still be up on trading profit. Remember, the lower the odds on the favourite and the more horses in the race, the better. And the advantages of this strategy are risking little money requires just one lay bet and nothing more till the end of the race. Really easy strategy. Disadvantages, it can be a higher risk or a losing streak can really hurt. Let's look at swing trading. This strategy is also simple as it requires a single bet as well. If you see the horses being backed, you need to follow the movement of the market and back him as well. If you place a back bet at 10 and after a few hours the horse is down to 7, you can make significant profit from that. That's it. Simple as that. You just need to follow the market movement and keep an eye on the odds. It's important not to get too greedy. Swing trade is about making small but guaranteed profit. If you wait too long, the odds can change. You can use the same method in the other direction if you see the odds on a particular horse are going up. You can place a lay bet. But in this case, the risk is much greater as the odds can be very high and you can lose a lot more. The advantages to this strategy? You can use small stakes to make a profit. You have ample time to make decisions. The disadvantage of the strategy is small profit and requires an understanding of the market and pricing. Front runners. This strategy requires thorough research and more. It entails hunting for horses who like leading races. The odds for such horses will usually decrease at certain times throughout the race. This makes it one of the easiest methods for making a profit. All you need to do is back the horse before the race and lay it during the race or back to lay. Of course, the second option is to back it once the race begins. But this option means that you'll be trading a lot lower price because the horse is already in front. As we mentioned, this strategy requires some research to make it work. Namely, you need to check the stats on the previous races and the most importantly, look into the horses you're going to trade as well as the other horses competing. Doing this ensures that you're aware whether others are much better than yours and again, just take a look at the previous races. It shouldn't take long. Essentially, you need to know which horse tends to charge ahead. Ideally, you find a horse who enjoys being there for a while. If it just holds the lead for a brief period, your profits alternatives will be limited. Advantages of this strategy? Great profit. Significant movement on odds during the race. Disadvantage of the strategy requires thorough research and time consuming. Lay the field. Although an advanced strategy, it's not really that complicated. It does require a decent bankroll, excellent understanding, appropriate staking and getting your trades matched, which might be hard to achieve. Lay the card is based on more than one horse in the race being matched on odds, ensuring a profit no matter what the final result. The more horses you can bet on, the more money you're likely to make. You can place your lays before the race, or you can do this during the race if your feelings change about the low odds you're attempting to reach. For example, let's see what happens when you place £50 lay bet on all five horses in a five runner race at odds of let's say 1.5 for simplicity. One lay matched, you end up lose 25. Two lays match, you end up 25 up. Three lays match, you end up 75 up. And four lays match, you end up 125 up. Advantages to this strategy, profit might be huge. You don't have to do any research on the previous race, jockeys, etc. Disadvantage, you need to have a big budget and requires many trades to get matched in order to work. Making notes, utilize a notebook to plan your day's trading accordingly. The proper preparation makes the job much easier and give you better results. Be patient. Patience and a level mind are 100% required. If you rush, you risk losing money. A horse has a limited lifespan, therefore you must choose the best time for each activity. It should become second nature after a while. There are some scenarios that you will witness over and over again. The more you trade, the better you get at it. Do your research. In this sport, knowledge is power. The more you know about a jockey and horses, the better for you and your results. Different horses start and finish differently and the same goes for jockeys. So before you trade, you need to know more or less when it's the right time to do so. Understanding the time lag. Before committing to trading a race in progress, be sure to understand how much of a time lag the streams you're seeing are in real time. I'm sure you've seen the odds drop dramatically and after a couple of seconds, you realize why it was happening. Of course, it's because of the delay in the stream. So watch out for it. Trading many races. You're not going to win every trade in every race, get over it. A triumph in one top race may inspire you to pursue victories in lesser known events with a larger field of runners and riders. Don't allow your excitement stand in the way of your success. 
Choose your races before you begin betting and stick to your strategy. Betting on high odds. Okay, maybe the content is misleading, but in the long run, betting on high odds in hopes of winning leads to bankruptcy, and that's what we wanted to point out. Betting on horses with great odds is rarely a winning strategy. They have a reason for their increased probability. According to the odds makers, they are unlikely to win the tournament. Not doing your research. This is a huge mistake, especially if you're using front runner trading strategy. Check the stats, previous races and current form. Increase your chances of success. When we talk about research, we don't just mean jockeys and horses. We're also talking about the weather during the race. The weather is another important aspect and can affect the final result. Well done for completing this video. Now time to move on to the next. Thank you for watching and together we're all trading the market.